Hey everyone, welcome back to the part two of what I brought to Scotland with me. This is going to be all of my toiletries and my backpack things. So this is going to be my liquids bag and in it I brought my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer. It has SPF in it, gotta take care of your face. We have our Crest Toothpaste. This is the travel toothpaste that I bring everywhere with me. I also have this hand sanitizer that would stay in my fanny pack with me. It's from Target. I absolutely love it. I also have some nasal spray because it was cold and my nose got really dry, so it was really important to try to stay away from those nosebleeds. I also brought my nighttime Neutrogena moisturizer. This was just to make sure my face didn't get too dry. And then we had my daily cleansing balm, also from Target. Good way to wash my face. And last but not least, we have my travel perfume. I got this bad boy off of Amazon, totally worth it. So in my toiletry bag, I brought a bunch of Q-tips. My compact mirror, because I didn't know if our hotels would have, you know, good lighting. I brought clippers and tweezers. I brought my eyebrow trimmer. I love this so much. Also an eyebrow brush. I didn't really bring makeup, so these were the two things that I decided were necessary for me for my two weeks in Scotland. I also brought extra chapstick. My retainers, of course. My Quip glossing kit. Cottonelle wipes for Matthew, my deodorant, some bar soap for when we weren't staying in hotels that didn't have shampoo, a comb, my Quip toothbrush, and last but not least, I had these laundry sheets for when we need to do laundry because we did not bring enough clothes for the entire stay over in Scotland. And this little case was from Amazon. Now moving on to my backpack. I had my travel backpack, my water bottle, and then my fanny pack. This is what the inside of my backpack looked for travel days. There's also a jacket in there if needed. So in my backpack, I brought my switch, which was so helpful for my flights, as well as my Kindle. My iPad, a Bluetooth keyboard for my iPad for some work that I had to do, my bone induction headphones, and my bag full of all of my cords. In my cords bag, I had my camera charger, a car charger just in case the car we had didn't have enough plugs for our phones a portable battery pack a SD dongle for my camera to my iPad an extra SD card An extra charging cable for my iPad, my Kindle, my Switch, my Apple Pencil to do some doodling on my iPad. My Apple charger for my iPad and my phone. And the brick that comes with it. And lastly, my Apple Watch charger. Can't forget about this beauty. This was our converter plug because Scotland definitely did not use the same as American plugs and this was so helpful because we could plug so much into it at once and it charged it all really fast. Now in the inside of my backpack I had these two zippers where I kept my buff for easy access because I knew I was going to get cold. And my headband and my gloves. 
Next in some of the pockets, the outside pockets that I had, I had a mini first aid kit with me. Uh, Matthew and I are both a little clumsy, so I packed some extra band-aids, some polysporin, and some alcohol wipes, as well as my earplugs. And of course, I've learned to never travel without a pen. Now in my crossbody bag, I kept all the daily essentials in there. I had my wallet, and this wallet I did buy from Primark when I was there. I absolutely love it, and I still use it now. Cottonelle wipes for Matthew, some lotion, hand sanitizer, Tylenol, chapstick, a Tide to Go pen, and of course, an emergency tampon. 